So we cross now to SABC News reporter Nosipo Nube. She's at Help Makar School in Bramfontein and uh, joined there by some of their top achievers. So let's say good morning to Nosipo. A very good morning to you, Sakina, as well as the viewers. As you have mentioned, we're at Help Makar College in Bramfontein, where the school here forms part of the 98.82% uh, uh, achieved in the IEB exams in the year of 2019. But to speak to me here, I've got the school's top achievers, uh, two ladies who are leading the pack, in fact, that uh, achieved 11 distinctions. I have with me Minion Trotsky as well as Jana Bortis. Ladies, congratulations and thank, thank you so you. much for joining me. Um, just walk me through the moment just before you saw your results, the nerves and all of that. Just walk me through all of that. I was so, I was so nervous. I had like nightmares for weeks before the results and like I couldn't like handle the nerves anymore. I just sat there and I was like, okay, it's going to be fine. I'll survive this. And when I got the results, I was over the moon. I was trying my best not to think about it because every time I thought about it, it was feeling uh, so when they actually came out um, because they came out a bit earlier than I was expecting um, so I was just looking at the message on my phone and I saw it was the advanced programs that came out and I immediately ran to my mom's group like you have to look I'm not looking <laughs> Give me a reaction from your parents because I won't be able to speak to them right now in the crossing. Just tell me how they reacted to the news of your distinctions. My mom started crying <laughs> and my dad was asleep while like, he just woke up and he was like, what's going on? And I'm like, I've got my distinctions. He was so happy. Yeah, me and my mom hug hugged each other very tightly, but because I gave her the phone, I didn't want to look. She was counting the distinctions. <laughs> it, was like, it was such a relief, but also such a pleasure to actually achieve what you wanted to achieve. I've spoken to a few learners who are constantly telling me it's just determination and hard work, you know, that gets them to this point. But I just want to know the secret from you guys. What exactly did you have to do that um, you feel that you uh, achieve these 11 distinctions? Well, you have to work hard, but you also need to make time for yourself. Yeah. It's not all study. You need to take breaks, do what you like to do, spend time with friends. Like, you need to live a balanced life. And that's, I think, the secret. You're the mum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the moment um, when you focus too much on your schoolwork, it starts to become overwhelming. Kind of the best thing is to n focus on it, but not dwell on it. Um, so keep moving on, take your free time, um, do each task individually. Um, Make a checklist, do each task on its own. Don't worry about all the other things you need to do. Just focus on the one task at a time and finish it. Okay. Plans for the year, what are you planning very quickly? Um, I'm going to study genetics at the University of Pretoria. I'm going to study actual science at Stellenbosch. Okay, ladies, thank you so much and congratulations again on your achievement. Uh, that's Yana as well as Minyan just telling us how they achieve these 11 distinctions, uh, working hard, keeping track of the work that you're doing, and most importantly, taking a break um, and, and ensuring that you're not too hard on yourself uh, when you're preparing for these exams. But that's it from here.